Hey, Facebook friends, good to see you on Wednesday afternoon. Uh, we've been talking about an early Christmas this week, and so you can see we've already got trees up here at the house. A uh, lot of reasons why we might wish for an early Christmas. One reason, one reason has to do with this uh, kind of endless cycle of politics and elections that we've been in. Uh, we're so special in Georgia. We're still fussing about the last election, and we still have... Uh, we still have another one. We still have two U.S. senators to elect, and so we'll get to see political ads for another uh, three or four weeks till we vote in January. But uh, I, I think about this from the Bible. I think about the fact that there was another um, highly placed political figure who was really interested in the idea of an early Christmas. Uh, there was a, a particular uh, prophet uh, who was a priest. He was an advisor, a spiritual advisor to kings, uh, and his name was Isaiah. Uh, Isaiah worked uh, and lived about 700 years uh, before the birth of Jesus. Um, Isaiah, just like us, Isaiah saw his nation endure good times and endure bad times, and uh, and by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of God, Isaiah was able to hold on and endure, and God's Spirit helped him see a better day. Isaiah wrote this in uh, what we call chapter 9 of his uh, long prophetic book. In Isaiah 9, he wrote this, For to us a child is born, for to us a son is given, and get this, here's what Isaiah hoped, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Um, you know, more than, more than just a new ruler, uh, a new president or a new senator, more than any of that, more than a creative policy initiative or even a revamped um, political system, Isaiah hoped for an early Christmas. Isaiah hoped he knew that only God could do the necessary work of bringing light to the darkness of our world and the darkness of our individual human lives. Only God could be the Prince of Peace that was uh, most needed and bring the kind of peace that was lasting. So with Isaiah, I think I'll uh, wish and I'll pray for an early Christmas. Let's pray together. Father, we're thankful for every good way that you bless us. We're thankful, thankful especially that you give us this desire to experience an early Christmas. May we reach out to Jesus for peace now for ourselves, for our nation, for our world, now and forever. In his name we pray. Amen. Hey, friends, thanks for uh, checking in with me on uh, Wednesday afternoon.